Hey everybody, it's Justin, and today I'm going to be running through a pretty quick demo on how to um, link the data between quote line items and opportunity products, uh, specifically custom data. Um, if you use the quote object a lot, um, there's kind of this weird relationship between quotes and opportunities, and they're supposed to sync, but they don't. And uh, if you want any custom information on that quote line item, then um, that doesn't inherently sync out of the box. So that's what we're gonna be covering today. Uh, and just to show you what this looks like, uh, I just have a, a quick test quote here um, inside of Salesforce. And um, we have obviously um, details. We have this quote is syncing, um, but um, if we go to a product, um, I just created two, two custom fields, the shipment date and, and a warehouse. Um, I'm sure you could think of, um, or, or you have already, um, maybe a better um, field than this, but uh, nevertheless, um, just gonna go ahead and save these. And uh, this is for that Genwatt diesel 1000 kilowatt, those kind of standard products inside of a trailhead org. So I'm going to go back to the opportunity and show that um, if I go to that um, thousand kilowatt, you can see that shipment dates being changed uh, and you can see it updated it happens to be the time right now. Um, so with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into uh, basically VS code and a new Salesforce org so I can show the setup for this. Um, and um, before I do that though, if you could go ahead and if you enjoy this content, it is absolutely free to you. Um, so if you go ahead and like and subscribe, that really helps the channel out and lets me know that uh, I should continue doing more of it. Um, and additionally, if you're looking for some sort of consulting work, um, check the links down below. Uh, with that, uh, I will be jumping into a new Salesforce org. Okay, so I am in Salesforce and i um, just gonna, for this demo, have this set up um, quickly, but uh, obviously you need quotes enabled. So I'm just gonna go to quote settings and enable that. Um, I think this is pretty, pretty straightforward. And um, if you're doing this inside some sort of uh, client environment and that would already be done most likely unless it's a new project. Um, and then the next thing is obviously um, exposing the um, opportunity line item ID on the quote line item. So um, what you can do is, uh, and you actually, if you were observant, maybe you saw it on um, during the demo, but uh, what you can do is you can, on the quote line item, you can create a formula here um, that references that ID. Um, so, whoa, I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna call it opportunity line item ID. Um, gonna make it a text field. And the best way of doing this is uh, opportunity line item, the object reference dot ID. Um, so, E Z P Z. Uh, and that's all the Salesforce setup that you need to do. Um, I actually I can go ahead and make those those fields uh, just just to be um, consistent. So I had a date field called shipment date. Uh, we'll just oh go ahead and try to uh, use what I've already done. And um, we'll need to create these on both the quote line item and the opportunity line item. Um, as Salesforce sits here and uh, does its thing. Um, obviously the other thing I had was a lookup. So let's go ahead and do that to the account.
Uh, and then we'll do the same thing on the opportunity line items or the opportunity products. Um, as well as a shipment date. So again, this works with all field types. Um, the reason why I'm using these is just because I, I think it was good to use an ID field um, just to show that as I think there's kind of funny business in, in ID fields oftentimes. Um, and then a date field just because um, I think that it's works well as well. So. Okay, with that, um, we have all the setup we need to do inside of Salesforce. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab VS Code. Um, so what I have here is um, an empty, empty project repository. Uh, this is actually the blank template. Uh, you can go ahead and delete um, these if you're starting out from, from nothing. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a Apex trigger. I'm gonna call this quote line item trigger. Uh, I find it's probably um, best practice. I mean, there's no true style guide um, yet for, for Apex development, but um, I find it good to just call your, your triggers based on the object. Um, just, I think it adds to clarity. Um, especially in when you're not working inside of the um, developer console. Um, obviously, the uh, S object is quote line item. Um, whoops. And um, the context, instead of being before, uh, because I'm going to be doing this, um, this is running on the quote line items, but I need to send a DML. Uh, we'll, we'll have to use the after uh, context. So I'm going to do after insert, uh, after update. And uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to just uh, simply say if trigger dot is after, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to make another class called quote line item trigger handler. Um, and this is going to pass in, let's see, what did I name this? This is going to pass in, or this the function is going to be update opportunity line items. And we're going to pass in all the list of, of the quote line items. Uh, so uh, this is going to be trigger.new. Um, obviously, I need to create that handler. Uh, so let's go ahead and create that. Um, And uh, let's see, so this is gonna be public static void uh, up. Now I can just copy paste. And this is gonna take in a list of quote line items and I'm just gonna call it QLIs. The first thing we're gonna be doing is, is mapping the QLI IDs to the OLIDs. Um, I'm sure you might be able to do this without a SQL query, but um, I think it gets kind of sloppy if you don't use this, um, use a SQL query. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a map of ID and uh, quote line items. Um, I'm call it the QLI map. Um, and obviously instantiate this accordingly. Um, and what I'm going to do is for quote line item uh, QLI in QLIs. Um, and I think the reason why you want to do this is because if you want any more robust mapping, um, 
that um, takes in maybe, for instance, information from the opportunity, then you'll want to have a SOQL query. Um, and obviously, you if you're not querying records, uh, if you're not querying um, data from the parent, it doesn't show up in the trigger. So uh, let's see. So then I'm just going to say if uh, there is an opportunity ID, uh, which um, I think is pretty straightforward. Um, then obviously we want to put the um, QLIs in the We want to put the QLIs in the uh, map. Um, we're going to grab the opportunity line items. And we're going to iterate through the opportunity line items. And so this is how you go and um, this is how you go and uh, map fields. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, Map the shipment date, so the OLI.shipment date equals QLI map.get uh, OLI.id dot shipment date. Uh, and the other thing that I wanted to do was with the warehouse. And the final thing is obviously the DML statement, so update the OLIs. A uh, couple things to note. Um, yeah, I think I might have called this account. Um, and obviously I need to do the QI. Uh, so a couple things to note here. Uh, first is that um, we are um, sending DMLs within triggers. So if you are in an org or an environment that um, is already managing um, um, quote line items or not, if you're if you're managing opportunity line items, uh, you may need some sort of recursive. Um, you may need some sort of recursive uh, check, uh, which is pretty simple to do. Uh, lots of tutorials on that. Um, next thing is, is why don't you just go and um, just grab the, or cr create new instances of, of OLIs. Um, there's nothing stopping you from doing that, but again, if you want information from the opportunity, if you want, um, yeah, pretty much if you want information from the opportunity or anything related from the opportunity product, then you'll want to do it this way. Um, and um, I think overall this is a pretty clean implementation. Again, not that much code, not that complex. I think the biggest thing is really just knowing that um, you're able to reference the opportunity line item from the quote line item. So with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, until next time.